cool. Taking a look at uh, something that I've been looking for for quite a while now. Checked it out on GunBroker. This is the kind of thing you're not going to find uh, necessarily at your local gun shop. And it's taken me a long time to even find one at a gun show. So cheating and using the internet a little bit. Uh, been scanning GunBroker for a long time now, checking these out. And they usually go for pretty expensive. I finally got this one a while back for a decent price. It just took a, quite a while to get a hold of it and finally got it, so I'm making the video. So it's uh, not really an unboxing, but uh, sort of a tabletop. It's for the NAA 22 long rifle, specifically for this size frame, and you'll see why in a moment. The uh, NAA belt buckles are available uh, in lots of different styles, and the type that are more of a plate or a cowboy style are pretty easy to find, and you can get those pretty much any day of the week. However, this one was available for a while, uh, years ago, and hasn't been available for sale straight from North American Arms for a long time, and uh, a little bit harder to get a hold of. I found this one, and as a collector, I'm pretty happy to have found one in the box, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. So it's sort of a cast metal. It's actually made in Spain, so it's made for North American Arms, not actually by them. And uh, you can see it's sort of a skeletonized cast belt buckle. Fits typical leather belts with the holes and kind of the snaps on the other side that fold over. And uh, the reason I like this one, as you can see in the picture, is the gun is your belt buckle. And the, the buckle, the actual buckle here kind of melts or you know hides in the background. And that's why I really dig this one. Um, one of the reasons I really fell in love with these things in the first place, and a lot of uh, for a lot of people, I think the belt buckles are one of the first uh, experiences they have with the little North American arms. And somebody says, "No, that really is a little revolver in there." So we're going to take a look at this one. It's empty, of course, but I usually carry five rounds of 22 uh, Stinger, which uh, seems like pretty decent ammo from our velocity test a while back. And it's got the the buckle has these two pegs on it, which I think what I'm going to do to modify it since I've been playing with it a little bit, is I'm going to put some heat shrink tubing on both of these and then heat it up and it'll kind of vacuum down onto the posts and it won't be such an issue with noise and with, I'm already noticing some marring and stuff. But anyway, it kind of rocks into the back here. And then in front, you can see that the, a little easier for me to do it here. You can see that in the front, it's going to pass this little, pull down uh, plunger. So now it's locked into place. Won't fall out. It's pretty cool. Like I said, there's a little bit of noise. And since I like to do a lot of you know, dark ops and things, I'll need to uh, heat shrink this so it's a little quieter for me. But I'm really liking the whole concept of this. Now, honestly, I don't think I'm going to use it as a belt buckle. But what I do like is the idea of putting this under one of my straps of one of a bag maybe or even just with some nylon or something to hold on here and it's a cool way to in my opinion it's a cool way to keep track of this little revolver uh, in a bag or in a pocket or something and it does keep it fairly safe yet there's no way for it to go off not only because it's on the notch between the cylinders but in this case there's physically a pin here that won't let the hammer go back so even with that exposed trigger no big deal so in a single action revolver like this it's quite safe in this way um, and like I say, I think once it doesn't uh, have any issues with marring up the finish, uh, this will be a fairly silent and quick way to hold on to it. And just by playing with a little bit, you can get kind of a shooting grip and just kind of pull down on that plunger with your finger. And it kind of just rocks right out of the belt buckle. So I really like this thing ever since I was a kid. And finally got myself uh, one, so I guess it's sort of an early Christmas present for me. And... Uh, it was also one of my few interactions with Gunbroker. Uh, I just end up finding most of my stuff locally, so I just don't do a heck of a lot of shopping on Gunbroker, but it was a very pleasant experience. Aside from a little delay in actually getting a hold of it, I got it for a great price, I think. So uh, NAA 22 Long Rifle Belt Buckle, the skeletonized version.
The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.